as they have always done, the Swedes have surprised the world again. This time, with a new fighter jet. This fighter aircraft, the JAS-39 Gripen E-Fighter, might not seem special. However, this seemingly small fighter jet can damage enemy jets that might even be considered much more advanced. Production on the fourth generation plus jet started in 2013. One could consider it a backdated technology because, in 2013, the world already knew about the F-22, a fifth-generation jet and the first of its kind. Also, another fifth-generation fighter, the F-35, was getting ready to fly. That's not all. Apart from the already-mentioned American fighters, the Su-35, built by the Russians, already existed. Although the Su-35 is not considered a fifth-generation fighter, it is considered more advanced than the Gripen E-Fighter as it is a fourth-generation plus-plus fighter. This aircraft has a feature that ensures maneuverability is much more efficient. This is why it is classified as a plus-plus fighter. The new Swedish fighter jet is coming when there are already more advanced jets. So, why should it get any special attention? Please click on the like button if you do like this video. Also, hit the bell button to avoid missing our other videos. Well, as much as this jet might not seem as advanced as some fighter jets built before it, it can take on some more advanced jets in a fight. According to Swedish Air Force Commander Mats Helgesen, this aircraft can take out the Russian Su series fighter jet. That's not all. The Ukrainian defense minister has revealed that the Gripen E fighter jet is a lot better for dealing with Russian aggression than the F-16. So, with all these testimonies, this aircraft has to mean a lot in the military space. At first glance, this plane might not seem special. However, since it has been highly spoken of, there has to be something special about it. So, let's take a look at some of its special features. The world has already seen fifth-generation aircraft in the air. However, the fact that Sweden can build a fourth-generation plane by itself is something worth applauding. Apart from Sweden, the only European nation that has successfully produced a fourth-generation aircraft without any help is France. Sweden's ability to build a fighter jet suited to its needs and its topography is one thing that makes this jet special. Due to Sweden's topography, which is characterized by lakes, forests, and rivers, it might be difficult for the Swedish government to build a solid network of airfields. This is not good news. However, even worse is that the already developed airfields can be taken out in a short time if there is an attack on the country. What does this imply? This means it might be difficult for the country to use fighter jets if it has to protect itself against foreign aggression. Protecting its airspace might be difficult for the Swedish government. However, it is not impossible, and the Swedish military had this in mind when it developed the Gripen E-Fighter. This fighter was adapted to take off as well as land on regular highways. So, in an advent of a damaged airfield, the country can still very well defend its airspace. The Gripen E fighter is Sweden's best fighter yet. However, it is not the first of its kind. It is a modernization of the JAS Gripen A fighter. This modernization dealt with the flaws of the Gripen A fighter jet and developed its strengths. So, what is the JAS-39 Gripen E-Fighter like? The JAS-39 Gripen E-Fighter has a delta-shaped wing and a single engine. It features a duck aerodynamic configuration and is aerodynamically unstable. This is not a flaw, however, as it was done on purpose. Due to its aerodynamic instability, it is very maneuverable. Like the fighter before it, the Gripen E needs a short runway for takeoff and landing. A runway of 190 meters is good enough for this aircraft. This means it does not need an airstrip to fly or land. That's not all. This plane has 30% of its frame made from composite materials. Due to these materials, it is a lot lighter than its predecessor. Beyond having a positive impact on its weight, these composite parts also help with radar visibility. This fighter's fuselage is built from aluminum alloy and its horizontal wing control surfaces are made from carbon fiber. Also, its wings are made from titanium alloy. Although built in Sweden, this aircraft runs on an F414F-18 Super Hornets engine, which happens to be made in the United States. Due to its engine, when in idle mode, it cruises at a speed of 1.1 Mach, which is faster than the speed of sound. 
In addition to its rate, this plane has a refueling system that meets NATO standards. Furthermore, it needs a concise time for refueling, reloading weapons, and routine maintenance. All these can be done in 10 minutes. That's not all. An hour is all that is needed to replace its engine. This might seem quite long. However, in the world of aircraft, it isn't. The Gripen-E is not a fifth-generation aircraft. However, it enjoys the same network capabilities associated with fifth-generation aircraft. Some of them are the Gripen Wing DAT Link System Link 16 System, National Data Link Secure System, and Multi-INK Communication System. This aircraft features a Missile Approach Warning MAW, and Radar Warning Receiver RWR, that lets the pilot know a missile head is approaching. That's not all. With its stop-notch radio equipment, the pilot of this plane has a situational awareness that is only enjoyed by fifth-generation planes. One more feature of this aircraft which makes it special is its electronic warfare system. This system has several technical parameters, and if we were to mention them in this video, we would need some extra time. We might be unable to look into the different parameters of this plane's electronic warfare system. However, it landed on the German fighter Typhoon's right wing without even being noticed. It achieved this because of the electronic warfare system, which was able to suppress the Typhoon's detection system. This implies that this fighter can come very close to an enemy plane without being detected. In real warfare, there will be no need to land on the wing of another aircraft. However, being able to come so close to an enemy plane means taking close-range shots is possible. Sweden is not at war. However, as a member of NATO, it will supply military aid to Ukraine. So, we most likely will be seeing this fighter jet go head-to-head -head with Russian fighters. The war in Ukraine is only getting more heated. So, what do you think will be the outcome of dogfights between the Gripen E and the Russian S-Series? Please let us know what you think in the comments section below.